Hey, welcome back to the Cash Money's channel. Um, thank you for all the likes and shares. Um, it's great that uh, we're building a community here uh, just to learn and make some cash. All right, uh, I put up a, um, a like a quick beginner's guide for um, candlestick uh, patterns. Um, so you can go out, I'll link it in the description below. And I'm just gonna talk about it. Um, you could reference it. It basically came from Japan. It's called uh, Harami Candles. And it comes uh, came from a rice farmer named uh, Sokio Hanma, and he's considered the uh, the father of the candlestick chart. And he coined the words uh, bullish and bearish. So you might always hear when they talk about the stock market, oh, it's bullish or it's bearish. Um, and basically, he sold rice in Osaka and wrote a book called The Fountain of Gold in 1755. And basically it's a book about market psychology and these candlesticks sort of um, uh, mimic the price action of the market. And there's basically uh, over a hundred Harami candle patterns and I'll be talking just about a few today and um, that will make you help decisions in the market um, for entry or exit points. And basically, uh, so if you reference my chart and the green candlestick um, means uh, buying power or buying pressure. And usually uh, uh, the, highest, the highest price is at the top. And um, if, the, if the rectangle is closer to the top, that means there's more buying pressure. And likewise, the rectangle, the bigger the rectangle, the more volume of buyers and sellers. And towards the bottom, is that's the selling pressure. So if the rectangle moves towards the bottom, that means there's more selling pressure or uh, more down, uh, uh, the, it's, uh, the, basically the, the pressure is going down to, towards the lowest price. And basically the, the candlesticks that are sticking out um, basically, that's basically the highest price, and and then towards the bottom is the lowest price, and the green, uh, the red candlestick on the other is the same as the green candlestick. The red just means um, selling, and the green just means uh, buying. So when there's higher buying pressure, there's going to be a higher price, and likewise, when there's a, uh, a more selling pressure, it's going to be red. It's going to be a lower price, and so basically, candlesticks can be combined and show you the overall um, trend when you look out at a time chart. Um, usually for day traders, they look at the one minute time chart, um, but to get a better picture, a fuller view, you could look at the five day, 10 day, 20 day, 180 day, or yearly time charts. And to understand um, the bigger picture, sometimes you just have to look look at it and see, see if there's any patterns in the Harami candles. Um, and I would only use Harami candles um, when you're entering or exiting a trade with upward or downward trends and you have your support and resistance lines um, mapped out. And also people use, also use it with the moving averages as well. And we could go, if you're interested in that, we could talk about that too. Just leave me a comment below. Um, there's multiple candle combinations um, that can predict what happens next. I'm just going to talk about a few of them here because um, you know, there's there's books about you know hundreds of different patterns of Harami candles. So, just I'll just talk about a few. So, on slide two on the lower left hand corner, um, that's when you have a small um, red candle enveloped by the the second candle is a, a green and is uh, larger. That's that represents a bullish um, a, a bullish pattern, and. Likewise, when you have a small green candle and it's um, uh, has the following is a big red candle, that means it's a bearish pattern. And basically, you could use this in your overall strategy. Um, so when you see that there's a, uh, if it's close to your support line and you see that the, the big bullish pattern is coming, then you know the next one, it'll probably uh, be, there'll be more buying pressure. So the next candle will probably be green. And so if you're looking for an ent entry and it's near near your moving average and also your um, your support line, then people usually, that's when they buy. And then the, the candles shoot up. And usually they sell when they see the bearish pattern. And uh, once they see the bearish pattern, that's 
all the sellers are selling out. So then um, they sell before the next next bearish candle. And then um, if you take a look, I put a the, the chart from uh, uh, the trade desk, and this was from 1820. Um, basically, you can see the bearish pattern at the bottom, I mean, the bullish pattern at the bottom. And if you would have entered there, and then you can see the um, the bearish pattern at the top, it sometimes it doesn't always look like the textbook bearish pattern. Um, so you just got to be a little cautious there. Um, but if you would have exited there, then that would have been a $40 jump in your share price. And that and that happened between 9.30 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. And then there's also a pattern called the hammer, and that's bullish. That's when the you have a long wick, and then you have a sh strong rectangle at the top. Um, and that means the hammer's coming down, and it's going to go up. So <laughs> that's a lot of people will also enter at that, during that time. And then sometimes when they see this pattern, the shooting star, that means the star is going to drop. So people usually see that and they sell out before it drops. And there's also the morning star bullish pattern. Um, so it's a, it's a, you see, you'll see a big red candle followed by, a, a, that's called the a, a, a cross, it's called the Harami cross, and then followed by a big green Harami candle. So that also means it's going to be bullish. So people usually enter there. And then you might see something like the evening star, which is bearish. Um, that has the big green candle followed by the cross and then a big red candle. And then that usually also means it's going to, it's a, a turn in the trend. So it's going to go down. So that's when also people exit. And then there's also the tweezer top. Um, that's bearish and the tweezer bottom that's bullish um, that means so you see the tweezer top um, the rectangles are at the bottom it's a green and red one that means it's going to be bearish the buying pressure is towards the bottom so there's more sellers sellers are trying to get into control here so the next candles are probably going to be red so and same with the tweezer top the buying pressure the rectangles are at the top there's more buying pressure so people want to buy more. So after that, after those two green, the, the red and the green, most likely it's going to go, uh, it's going to be a turnaround and there's going to be um, more people buying and the price will go higher. And this, so then I just want to talk about uh, snow uh, on 1721. Uh, snow jumped $25 a share. It started at 8.30 a.m. You see the hammer in the lower corner. And it goes all the way up and then at to 10 05 a.m and then that's a 25 dollar per share so uh, you know these these are how you could use the harami candles with your other tools to make money in the market and so basically you just have to look, where do how do you look at harami candles um sometimes you could look at them on google finance or I, or you could use your different brokerage accounts, sometimes Fidelity. Sometimes the candles might, might also look different too. Um, and sometimes you could change them in your settings, how they look, or even for people who are colorblind, you could change it, change the red and green to different colors or black and white. Um, and basically I use um, Sink or Swim. It's a TD Ameritrade account. And um, I, I use that and I trade in my other accounts. You can trade in the TD Ameritrade account, but I find it a little bit more complex to do my trades in that account. It's more easier to, for me to do it in my Fidelity or Vanguard. But I always have that TD Ameritrade window open so I can look at, they have a nice analytics, so they have nice charts and um, their Harami candles are beautiful on that chart. So I always look at those charts um, and then I, I use, use that platform to make my, my, uh, my buy and sell orders on other platforms. And so, you know, if you got any value out of this, please like and subscribe and share with all your friends and uh, let's go make some cash. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. And if you have any other um, uh, comments or questions, leave them in the comments below. And uh, you have any more topics for me to cover, just let me know. All right. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.